Now, when we're talking about choosing an electric guitar, we have some of the same variables that we would have with an acoustic guitar, and that is the name brands, the quality of the woods, obviously vintage instruments are going to be more expensive. But there are some definite things that we want to think about when we're talking about an electric guitar in regards to its style, because electric guitars can vary widely in the sounds that they produce and in the way that they feel. So we can apply the same principles uh, that, that we talked about in the acoustic guitar, except the wood on the body of an electric guitar is almost always going to be solid in some way, unless it's a hollow body guitar or something like that, which is what we call a semi-acoustic. But the feel or the budget is number one, and then the the feel and the sound again, okay? Now usually when it comes to uh, electric guitars, the price ranges for them uh, are going to be similar to acoustics, maybe even a little bit cheaper overall because uh, there's a little bit more work that goes into making an acoustic guitar, okay? But when we're talking about electric, go in with a budget, okay? Play some that feel good to you and then listen for the sounds. Now, you could almost flip those other those two in that when it comes to the electric guitar, the sound has so much to do with the body style, with the pickups. These are called pickups. There, there's so much to do with that, okay? And so a little bit of research is necessary when it is that you're going to buy an electric. Uh, and what most people do is they have a few folks that they listen to that are their favorite guitar players, and they say, I want that guitar. And that's a great way to think about it in regards to if you see Jimmy Page playing a Les Paul a lot and you love that sound, or a Telecaster, use the Telecaster a lot as well. If you love that sound, then chances are when you play it, you're going to love that sound too, or it's going to get you closer to what you want. Okay, so going by what your favorite guitar players use is also a really great thing to do. Now, uh, a disparaging difference between most guitars, electric guitars, is whether it has single coil or double coil pickups, what we call humbucker pickups. And you can tell the difference in this way. Single coil pickups basically cover one finger, okay? They're the size of one finger. If you see guitars that have two pickups here, then you're going to have a different style. For instance, this is a Gibson SG, and you can see that the pickups cover more than one finger. In fact, it's two, about two fingers. And this is what we call a humbucker pickup. And just a real short history on that, the single coil pickups uh, can produce, most often they produce a, a hum, okay? Which is just inherent of that technology back in the day, okay? And then somebody came along and said, I'm gonna produce this pickup where basically there's two single coils in there and they cancel out the hum. Okay, you know we don't need to get too deep in there. Other other than they're higher output, so they produce a more rock and roll type sound than say the single coil type style pickups. They produce a heavier sound, and they get rid of that hum that we're talking about. Okay, so there's some basics for you. Um, some other things to think about is you have either neck through you know, like a, either a neck that is glued on, or in the case of, say, like Fender Stratocasters, they're bolted on. Some folks have a preference for that. I don't. Uh, you know, typically the glued on necks are going to be more expensive. There's a little bit more craftsmanship involved in that. Uh, but it's really up to you. I have lots of guitars with bolt on necks, a lot of them with glued on necks, and I never ever think about that. I just play them and they sound great. So uh, so don't get too overwhelmed by that. Again, when it comes to buying a guitar, the three most important things are budget, feel, and sound. Just say that over and over again because if you stick to that, you're gonna be good, okay? Um, so play the guitar, play it through 
some different amps. Have somebody else who really knows what they're doing play through it and give you their opinion of it. Because you could take this guitar, play it through a great sounding amp, and it's going to sound great. Okay? Put it through a bad sounding amp, you're going to think, well, the guitar doesn't sound so well. Well, it also has to do with the amplifier. Okay? But don't get too overwhelmed with this. If you buy something that has a great reputation, let's say reviews, let's say you're buying something off of Amazon or online somewhere. If it has great reviews and everybody's saying it's awesome, you're probably going to be in good shape. So at a certain point, you got to let go and just, just bite the bullet and buy something. Okay? You can always buy more guitars later. Trust me, you can always do that later. I've bought a lot of many, many guitars over my lifetime, probably at least 100, I would guess, over my life. Uh, so um, bought and sold. So with all that being said, your mantra, budget, feel, and sound, uh, acoustic, or the humbucker pickups are going to produce that more rock and roll sound. The, the thinner pickups, which are called single coil, are going to pr provide more of a, 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 a softer sound, although they both can rock out and they both can get soft, so depending on what you're running it through. So, bite the bullet, just go out and get a guitar and you know, something that may have good reviews or something that, that's being represented well from, from somebody at a store. And then again, you're the judge here. And if you like the way it sounds, you like the way it feels, and it's within your price range, it's probably the guitar for you. So let it speak to you and get that electric guitar and let's get to playing.